looking for something different to do this weekend, there are several great live entertainment options that you may not know about. That's Small right. professional theaters are setting the stage for a great time across Metro Detroit. That's right. And actors from two of them are with us today from the Tipping Point Theater in Northville. Yeah. Actress Catherine Banks and Danny Cochran from Detroit Public Theater. Good morning. Actor Good morning. Eric Gutman and co-artistic director Courtney Burkett. Welcome, it's good to everyone. have you all Thank here. You. Thanks Great for to us. be here. So I love theater, but I have to. My disclaimer is that I was part of Tipping Point Theater. Still am around the edges. <laughs> it's go. been a great great ride to see what's been happening in theater in Detroit and in, in the suburbs as well. So mm. let's first start with Detroit Public Theater. Great. So much happening for you guys. Broadway to Obscurity. What is this about? So from Broadway to Obscurity chronicles my three years with the national tour and Broadway and Chicago casts of Jersey okay. Boys and kind of my journey leading up to the show and my journey away from the show and, and yeah. the why and the how and the a lot of songs, 20-some 20, mm -hmm. 20 songs, singing my face off. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Come yeah. see me sweat for 75 minutes. Sweat <laughs> right. and tell go. great stories. Yeah. And just, it's a really wonderful show. Yeah. Great. So, yeah, we yeah, is there a little intrigue in there? I feel like there's some oh, there's, intrigue. There's a, lot of, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of everything. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's really, it's a, it's, a, it's a very honest and, and heartfelt, funny, sweet show. Um, you cry at the end. You laugh. You cry. You listen to some great music. Tap your toes. It's everything you want. I cry at the end because I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, the, but the idea that you went from Broadway to obscurity, you're on Live in the D-Man. There are yeah. at least six people watching. So this is not obscurity. My we parents too. That's eight people watching. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And my mom was watching it out late. Oh, great. So you're winning. This is you're great. Winning. So why start a professional theater? I mean, it just, uh, even the, the question even came up. On paper, Tipping point, your theater, it, on paper you would say, well, this isn't going to work. How, how in the world can this work? Well, you know, I think that it's a really an added benefit to the community, um, yeah. just like any arts institution is. Um, you sure. know, we, we really believe, and, and Detroit Public Theater positioned ourselves intentionally in the cultural center. We want to be, uh, you know, on the same level. We want to be doing mm -hmm. what people are doing at the DIA and the Opera mm -hmm. House, and we're inside the DSO. So, um, you know, we believe that the arts make a, the city a better place, and any city a better place, and yeah. we believe that Detroit deserves the best theater that's around. Absolutely. But let's talk about why small theater is important because mm -hmm. usually we think of these grand performances but small theater is key too. Tell us why. Yeah I mean the, the relationship that you can have in an intimate space with the work and with the stories that are being told um, is really mm -hmm. uh, it's very intimate it's very it connects you connect in a, in a much deeper way not necessarily mm -hmm. deeper I think those big beautiful shows mm -hmm. have something to gain also but um, you know it's it's the size and the scale that really differs. So you go to tip point in downtown Northville. You've got a little over 100 seats. That's part of that intimacy, right? And here comes the odd couple, <laughs> yes. but it's with ladies. Yeah. Well, you know, pretty soon they're going to want to run for president every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> what? No, so what? Is? No, I, but here's the here. Here. here is the year. <laughs> Odd couple with women at Tipping Point, Ghostbusters with women. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's all happening right before our eyes and cool. Yeah. Great. Next thing, <laughs> they're going to want to get paid yeah. dollar for dollar. <laughs> oh, let's not start this. That about. <laughs> so how is this going to work with the flip in the gender roles? Yeah, well, I, you know, I think for people that are fans of the original version, uh, the biggest change they'll notice is that in our version, the ladies play Trivial Pursuit mm -hmm. as opposed oh, to see. Poker. Because when Neil Simon did the, <laughs> he did the rewrite in 1983, and Trivial Pursuit was the, the big new hot game. So, so that's mm -hmm. what play in our version, but if um, if audience members want to compare both, our friends at the Purple Rose are actually doing the male version. So uh, so audience members have the chance to see both uh, both performances, and they can yeah. turn in their their ticket subs to either theater and and win prizes and and tickets and have a good time. Very cool. So yeah. who is who? I am Olive. So okay. the equivalent of Oscar. The okay. Slightly sloppier in some uh -huh. people's opinion, uh -huh. roommate. <laughs> and I am uh, Florence Unger, the Felix, the neat freak. Yeah, all right. And do you have the honking? Do you have to honk like we saw in the movie in the TV version? Yeah, there there are moose calls. Our, our director's in the green room, and he was coaching me, our, yeah. our producer, yeah. rather, on, this morning on, on the moose calls, getting them up to speed. Yeah. Gotcha. So describe this idea of, a, of the intimacy for the audience, but for both of you, it looks like there's physical comedy, obviously, as well. So this is pretty tight confines. Yeah, Tipping Point is an amazing space because because um, you can change it around different shows. They have different configurations sure. that you're watching from. Um, as an actor, it's a really unique experience because you really are right on top yeah. of the audience. I mean, we had a note <laughs> session last night where they're like, okay, seat C1, and, and this seat you have to really watch out for because as you're yeah. going through or tumbling the stage, you're in it with them. But I think it's a perk because it creates a very immersive environment. They mm -hmm. feel like they're right in it with you, and, and they are. 
Um, yeah. We have our first live audience tonight, so fingers crossed that we don't yeah. trip over anyone's lap. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's gonna Good be to great. see you all. Much success across Excellent. the board. Thank you. And all that it does for bringing art to the community, and then people mm. have to go to dinner, go to dessert. I mean, it's, right. just, it's a big boost to the local economy. Yeah, it's good right. to see you all. Thanks, Thanks for having thank us. Thank you, guys.